This has completely left the Conservatives in New South Wales in complete disarray. Let me give an example so that I don't get sued. In America, the way George Soros has taken over the DAs, the reason why there's crime on, on the rampant around America, the reason why they keep winning state and federal, it's because they actually secure local. So many freedom parties that you see running in this particular election, because I've been talking to them and about how you've got to bleed your candidates and get them experienced in local elections, that's why this is so critical. Let's use um, Malcolm Turnbull, for example who's not involved in this at all, and if you take Tony Abbott, who's not involved in this at all, left and right of the Liberal Party. Often what happens in these particular elections is you'll get the left-wingers, they will actually mobilise together, they will sabotage the party so that they can actually cull the party of the right-wingers. In this particular case, what has happened is the left-wing people within the Liberal Party, they lost pre-selections in these areas. The Conservative candidates actually won them. And when it came to submitting the papers in yesterday in order to actually get things done, get them on the ballot, they actually didn't do that. The HQ of New South Wales hasn't done that.